All right, guys, I'm, I'm going to try to do this. And I uh, don't know how this is going to turn out, but uh, we've got, uh, as I mentioned earlier on one of my earlier videos, we've got some deer here that we're going to process. And what we've done, let me bring the camera around where I can show you. We've got this pan right here. Now this has all been cut up and I've put this in the freezer. It actually stayed in the freezer overnight. So it's just a little bit firm. It's not froze solid, but I like to have my meat good and cold. I think when it's like this, it firms up. I think it does better. I think it will grind better. And then this is some uh, beef fat that we got. My wife got this at the, our local uh, butcher meat packers and so we're going to be adding that to it i don't have a set of scales so i really don't have a good way of getting my percentage fat versus meat i don't have a good way of getting that right i'm just going to kind of eyeball it for now this will probably be something we're going to look at in the future is getting us a set of scales so that we can get our meat properly uh the fat content you know like like we would like to have it so anyway i'm going to try this and see how it works and this grinder here now i've got an older grinder but i've only got one plate for it i'll show you this is this is the old reliable here it's a inter, enterprise i don't have no idea how old that old grinder is but we have used it before but I've only got one plate, and that is the, uh, I think it's the 3 sixteenths. I think that's what it says. It's got to be cleaned up. Uh, but that's what that looks like. But we've ground meat with it in the past. Uh, but we're going to try this. We've, we've actually used this grinder here before. We're going to try it today and see how it'll work. And we've so far we've not had any trouble with what we've ground with it in the past. So we're going to try it now. So I'm going to set you back up. Now we'll see what we can do here. Now what I'm gonna do, I've got I've got the quarter inch plate in now. We're gonna grind it one time with that. And uh, we're gonna grind the fat and the beet the beet, the meat together. And I probably chill that back down and put it back in there and we'll chill it back down and then re-grind it again with a smaller plate and so but as I put the meat in I'm gonna put a little fat in and I'm gonna try to mix it as I go so let's see what happens here
guys. I want to say something here. Beginning of this, I started having a little trouble, and I forgot. It's been a long time since I've actually done a whole uh, deer like this. But don't with this type of grinder. Now that big one over there, if I, from my memory, we just ground meat up in one, ground the fat up in another, and it didn't seem like it didn't give it a lot of trouble. But this one. Uh, and using electric grinders before add your fat just a little bit along with the meat and you won't have no trouble if you try to grind, grind it by itself it's going what it's going to do it'll just actually clump up inside of here the meat will actually help push it on out as it goes so mm -hmm. i just thought i'd share that little tidbit of information with you in case you're trying this yourself and uh but we're going i'm going to finish this up getting this first grinding and I'll probably take and uh, chill this meat back down again get it good and cold and we'll do the final grinding once I get once I get it chilled so it may be later on this evening before I do that and I'll show you what it looks like after that all right let's get back at it <clears throat> guys this beef fat is a lot different to pork fat it's a drier denser type fat so it is a challenge to run through this grinder as you can see that's what it does it it just gums this thing up on the inside but I'm gonna get it out I ain't leaving it in there and wasting it but I'm gonna clean up get this thing get everything cleaned back up and then we're going to do our second grinding here in a little while i've got to go to take my garbage off so i'm going to leave for a little bit but what i'm going to do while i'm there doing that i'm putting i'm going to take this meat and i'm going to put it back in the freezer and let it chill back down because guys i'm going to tell you you grinding meat the colder it is the better it's going to grind so I'm trying to get all of this out. I'm going to put it in here. I don't want to waste it. I didn't use all that fat, but I think I've got it pretty well. It's probably like 90 some percent lean, just looking, guessing from the looks of it. Because down in here, there's very little. I didn't really start adding a lot of fat till the last of my grinding. So anyway, trying to get all this out. And what I'll do, I'll try to mix this th stuff up good. I'm going to put it back in that flat pan over there so I can get it back in the freezer. And uh, I'm going to wash everything up. And then I've got to run take my trash off. And then we'll be back and we'll try it again. So anyway, we'll finish this up then. So I'll catch you back then. All right, guys, we're going to try to do our second grinding on this. I've got my son Joshua in here. He's going to help. So, And this is his. This, he's pretty much done this thing from start to finish. I've just kind of helped him when I had time and odd chances. But 
he's going to run this apparatus now. So we're going to start this up, try to do the final grinding, and then we'll get it wrapped up and ready for the freezer. Guys, this meat, like I say, is cold. I put it back in the freezer after I done the first grinding because that's what makes it grind so much better. You see those strings coming out? That's what you want to see. And plus, it'll help mix your fat, blend your fat in with it more. Give a heads up on this kitchen aid grinder. I didn't know how it would be when we first got it, but I'm impressed with it. All right, guys, I thank you for watching. I hope we've shared something that's going to help. The biggest thing I can tell you is keeping this meat cold. I was just telling my son that because it'll grind. It works so much better the colder it is. If it's almost froze, it's not going to hurt nothing. So, But the colder you can keep that meat, especially while it's not froze, you've not packaged it. You definitely want to keep it that way. So what we're going to do here, we're going to divide this up and uh, get it prepared for the freezer. And uh, we'll be done with it. Be one process over with. We're going to try to make uh, some sausage maybe with the next batch. Uh, I'll show you my sausage seasoning that I use here. Uh, it's old plantation legs old plantation this is blend number 10 and this will do that will do about 25 pounds of meat so 
This is what my family always used when we were growing up and we killed hogs was the old plantation. So we've got one store in our area that uh, carries this and uh, it's the only place I know around here that I can get it. So, but we're gonna try that. Hopefully on the next one, we've got some pork fat that'll be coming. We're gonna try to make sausage with that. So anyway, guys, we're gonna get off of here. We're gonna get this mess cleaned up. I'm, it's been a busy day today. And uh, we're trying another experiment. We don't know how it's gonna work, but we've, we've got jerky cooking on that little grill that I done the barbecue on. And uh, we're gonna try that. It's based on really the same principle that we did the uh, barbecue, but we put the fire over to one corner and we've got the jerky in the opposite corner and we've got a small fire versus a big fire in there. So we're gonna try that. We're experimenting with it just to see how it works. And I might give you an update on that in a future video, let you know how that went. So anyway, guys, I'm gonna get off of here. We're gonna, like I say, get all this put up and we're gonna call it a day. Thank you from Little NC Farmer.